Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm like irrationally excited to film this video today. So today is gonna be my project pan finale for 2021. I hadn't planned on filming this video until the beginning of January, like after my vacation, I was gonna come back. I was gonna film my project pan finale. I was gonna film my best and worst of boxy charm video. Well, didn't I finish up some products this morning? I was like, well, why are we waiting? So let's dive straight in and talk about the products that I've been using, that I've been working on. And then at the end of this video, we're gonna go through all of the empties from my project pan from the entire year and we'll count how many I actually used up. I haven't counted. So as I mentioned, I did use up a few products this morning. So it kind of got to that point where I was like, I think I've used up all that I'm gonna be able to use up. Today is my last day of work. I go off on vacation um, as of tomorrow. So I know I'll be wearing makeup a bit, but like not a lot. So I figured the progress that I've made at this point is kind of the bulk of the progress that I'm going to make. So let's jump right into it. I'm gonna start with the products that I have not finished up. This lip gloss. I have all of these products on my face today. So this is the Chanel lip gloss I've been working on for a good chunk of the year. This is in the shade 92. I do have this on my lips today with like a nude lip liner. I definitely haven't been wearing this one as much as I did in the beginning, partly because of the color and just partly because of, you know, mask wearing. I'm wearing a lot of lip balm for the most part. Um, but as you can see from the lines there, I am down sort of beyond the halfway point. So I'm really happy with the progress that I made on this, even though I didn't use it up. This is a lip gloss that has been sitting in my collection for quite a while. And had I not put it in the project pan, I wouldn't have had any of this progress. I probably would have used it once or twice over the course of the year. So very happy with the progress that I made on this one. So next let's talk about my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. So I knew I wasn't gonna finish this one up by the end of the year. I've definitely hit major pan. When I put this into the project, I had like the tiniest little baby pan and I've done a really good job. This is like, the butter bronzer is hard to use up. It's sort of a baked formula. So you don't use a lot of it. Um, and it also isn't very like dusty or anything like that. So I'm really proud of myself for going, like taking it to this level, getting this much pan in this product, right? Is everybody proud? So as I mentioned in the last update, I knew I wasn't gonna finish this one up, but I was pretty sure that I'd be able to get even bigger pan. I was hoping to get a little side pan over here and that didn't happen, but I'm still really happy with the progress that I made on it. This CoverGirl powder I added into the project just in the last update, so very, very recently, and I was really confident. <laughs> I was really confident that I was gonna hit pan on this one. <laughs> I, did, I didn't, I'm shocked. You can see that you can, I know you can see the rings through the product there. So I was really confident that like within a week or two of adding this into the project that I was gonna hit pan and I didn't. I'm really, really surprised. So that's fine. This one may go into next year's project. I really haven't decided what products I wanna put in, but I was laying in bed thinking about it last night. You know when you can't sleep and you're like, I'll think about what outfit I'm gonna wear tomorrow and then I'll think about what products I'm gonna put into my project pan. This is where my brain goes. Anyway. I'm still loving this. I'm still using it every single day. This is the product that I like to use underneath of my eyes every single day to set my concealer. Um, so still going to continue to use it every day. I guess it was a bit of a loftier goal than I thought when I added it in. Let's switch gears and talk about this hair treatment. So this is the Rose Plus Quartz Hair Mask. And when I added this into the project, I was like right up at the top here. Um, it basically was a brand new jar and I'm all the way down here. So I made really good progress. I mentioned in the last update, I was sure that I wasn't gonna use this one up by the end of the year. But as you can see, there's not a ton left in there. I mean, there's quite a bit of product left in there, but compared to a full jar, um, I would say it's about 
two thirds of the way gone. Um, and I'm really happy with that. Uh, I think because it was in the project, I definitely used it more consistently than I would have otherwise. I do have a tendency to sort of use a bunch of different things when it comes to my hair. So this has encouraged me to really work on sort of one thing at a time. Um, I somehow ended up with just like a plethora of hair treatments this year. So this one went really well. Didn't finish it up, but made really good progress. Don't take a shot every time I say progress or project. <laughs> Or product <laughs> really tripping over those words today okay back to the makeup so I had added in this little blush trio from LMR cosmetics and as I mentioned in the last update I knew I wasn't gonna hit pan on this shade here but I sure have tried <laughs> it's so hard it's so hard to pan blushes I don't know why I do this to myself every year as you can see I've got major pan on this shade in the middle and these two ones on the sides if I use them by themselves they come off really orange on my skin, especially this time of year when I'm more pale. In the summertime, I could use these ones more and it wasn't so like pumpkin cheeks. Um, but now that I'm a little bit paler, I do tend to kind of dabble back and forth between like I always add this sort of pink shade in for the undertone. So I've made some progress on it, but like nowhere near. I've been kind of focusing mostly on this one rather than this one and I'm nowhere near hitting pan on it. I do have it on today. I think it looks nice. I have really enjoyed playing around with this one. This is another product that sort of gets lost in my collection. It's small, it's thin, you know, it just kind of gets thrown into that blush and bronzer drawer. Um, so again, I got use out of this product that I would not have had I not had it in the project. Next up is the Never Ending Powder. I was so confident at the beginning of this year when I put this in, I was like, yeah, I'm going to use this up. No problem. And then I'll move on to another powder. No, I've just continued to accumulate powders in my collection. However, I'm close, right? Like it's really close. There was a ton of product in here. Okay. So I have made, I've made consistent that light. There we go. I've made consistent progress throughout the project. Um, but yeah, it's not gone. <laughs> I do have it on today. I, this is literally the only face powder I have used all year. All year. I used to buy like three of these a year. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. Anyway, it is what it is. I'm going to continue to use it. Uh, again, I've made good progress on it. I have accumulated a few other powders through like BoxyCharm and things like that. So I think had I not had this in my project, I'd have a bunch of open powders with no progress on any of them. So I'm choosing to look at it that way. And then we've got this little eyeshadow palette. So this is the e.l.f. Matte for Matte eyeshadow palette in the shade Nude Mood. I can't get it open. I do this every morning. So my goal with this one was to use up these four shades in the front here. So these are the ones that I use every single day. These darker ones are okay. I just find them to be a little bit patchier, but these were sort of my go-to everyday shades. And as you can see, I've used up three out of the four. And this one, my gosh, it's really, it's lasting forever. I do have it on my eyes today. I just have it all over the lid and into the crease, and then I just tapped a shimmer over top of the lid. I have enjoyed using this. Um, at this point, I'm, I'm over it. <laughs> I've been working on it all year. I put this in the project right at the very beginning. Um, I wanted to see how much of it I could use up. So I am ready to be done with this palette. I will be decluttering this. You will see it in my next declutter video. Um, but yeah, it, that one shade, I don't know if it was pressed firmer than the rest of the shadows. It seems to be um, because I'm really going in with my brush with that color and, uh, and building it up because it's the only shade that I'm using a lot of the times when I'm using it. But anyway, really got my money's worth. I mean, I didn't buy this. Someone gave this to me, <laughs> but I got her money's worth on this little palette here. And then I have three products that I used up. Three since the last update. I know. I know. So first one is the Benefit Professional Hydrating Primer. This one has been in the project since the very beginning. I made consistent progress all the way through, as you can see, and it's gone. 
it's gone and I loved it to the very last drop. Uh, I won't be repurchasing this one. Some of the products in my project this year were products in my collection that were not cruelty free that I wanted to not throw away or declutter but use up and kind of get them out of the collection and this was one of those products for me. Um, I used this on every makeup application that I did on clients this year. This was a really great primer to have in my makeup kit. It works for all skin types, all skin tones. It plays well with all foundations. It was really great to have in that way. I used it on myself. I have it, I had the last of it on my face today. Um, and yeah, I used up a whole primer. I mean, let's be honest, I'm pretty sure this is a mini, <laughs> but still, still I used up a primer and we're proud. I did also use up this one, which I think you could still consider to be a primer. This is the Wander Beauty Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. I actually had this in last year's project pan, didn't finish it up, and then I added it in in the last update. I'll have all of my project pan videos from this year linked in the description box down below if you want to go back and watch from the start um, to kind of see where I added things in. But I added this in in the last update and I've been mixing it with the foundation that I'm going to talk about next and I really, really loved it for that. Um, it, it did a really nice job of shearing out that formula that was a little bit heavy for my skin. It gave more matte foundations, a little bit more of a glow as you can see. Um, I don't have a highlighter on today so mixing that in with my foundation really gives the skin just a nice luminosity. Um, it is a, an illuminating face oil. I have used this as a primer and I have used this on days where I'm not wearing makeup but most often I was mixing this with my foundation. So really really enjoyed this. I would definitely, I don't know if I would buy this again. It's not a cheap product. I think it's around $45 or $50. I did get it in a boxy charm, but if I saw it come up on like boxy pop-ups or it was an option to choose in a boxy charm, I would definitely get this again. And then I did use up my e.l.f. foundation. So this is the e.l.f. acne fighting foundation. I think that's what it's called. Every time I do this, I question if that's what it's called. Um, and I've been working on this one since I think September. Uh, it's, I started at about halfway and I really had to like, do that thing to get the last to get the last couple of drops out this morning to mix in with the last of that facial oil. So I was really excited, as you could tell when as you can tell. But when I did my makeup this morning, I used up the last of these three products. I was like, oh my gosh, we've got to film the project pan. So these are all gone. So how many products have we used up? That's the question. So what we haven't used up from the whole year. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do we count this? I'm gonna I'm gonna count this as done. So we didn't use up six products, but how many did we use up? Let's go through them really quickly. So we've got the Elf Foundation. We've got the Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil from Wander Beauty. We've got the Benefit Primer. We've got the e.l.f. palette. I'm calling this used up, you guys. I worked really hard on this one. We've got a TG blush. We've got the Indeed lip treatment. We've got the Beloved Pure Lease BB Cream. The Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist. The L'Oreal Dream Lengths Wonder Water hair treatment. The Moroccan Oil Color Depositing Mask in Platinum. The Schwarzkopf Blonde Me Ker Keratin Restore Bonding Mask. The CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. The Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation. The Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade Lip Gloss. And the IBY Radiant Glow Highlighter. What is all over my hands? I think it's some of the markings off of some of the bottles. So we used up a lot of products. Let me count them here. 14, 15. We used up 15 products this year. I think that's absolutely incredible. I'm so proud of myself. I'm like just over here feeling so good about myself about these products that I used up. So this is my second ever project pan. Last year, I don't want to say it was a fail, but it definitely was nowhere near as successful as this year. So I feel like last year I learned a lot about what products I like to pan and 
you know, how I like to sort of structure my project pan. And so I feel like this year was so much more successful because of that. Um, really, really proud of myself. Look at all these things that I used up that would have otherwise sat in my collection and just been like rotated in and out or possibly not been used at all. So really happy about that. Not really sure what I'm going to put into my project next year. I am thinking there's like a couple of things that I will roll back into the project that are like close to being done. You know, like I do still have a lot of hair treatments. I probably will continue to try to work through those hair treatments. Um, the butter bronzer I'm thinking I may try to use up completely. I, I need to use up this powder. Like it now it's like the challenge to see how long it's actually going to take. But otherwise, I haven't fully decided what products I want to add in, um, how I want to structure it exactly. But I think I've learned a lot again this year. And it really does help to teach me how long it really does take to use up. Like if you focus on one foundation for a solid period of time, you realize how long it really takes you to use up a foundation. And so it discourages me from buying a bunch of different foundations or a bunch of different blushes because I've been working on this one for like three months or four months or whatever it's been. So I think it helps me to keep things in perspective. I do love makeup. I love collecting makeup, um, but I do have a tendency to want to hoard all of the makeup and keep all of it. So this is a really great exercise for me personally. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. If you did a project this year, how it went for you. Um, if you have a channel, please share it with me. I love watching project pan videos. It really helps to keep me motivated. Um, if you have any ideas of things you'd like to see in next year's project, I'd love to hear what those are as well in the comments down below. And I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll see you guys soon in another video. Bye.